writing, I'm so grateful to Bachelor Nation for all the memories we've made together. While my two-decade journey is wrapping up, the friendships I've made will last a lifetime. This morning, Deadline reporting that even with the surprising exit, everything's still coming up. Roses for Chris Harrison, the host reportedly receiving a mid-range eight-figure payoff, feeling that financial love, no doubt. Andrew and Mona. All right, thank you, Will. The host may be different, but the rose ceremony will stay the same. That's just making news in America. This is Southern New England's trusted news source, Good Morning Providence. Good morning, everybody. You are taking a live look outside our downtown Providence studios with our Skycam HD. A little couple of raindrops out there this morning. We'll check in with Chelsea for more on the forecast in just a moment. But first, here's some of the top stories you'll see on Good Morning Providence. A man killed in a serious car crash in Fall River. What police say another driver did just moments before the crash. Plus, the troubled Providence Public School District getting a new leader. We're on it with who's been named the new interim superintendent and why the teachers union is thrilled with the choice. And cocktails to go. A push during the pandemic to help restaurants survive. But should the practice continue, we have details on new legislation to keep it going. Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for starting your day with us. I'm Doreen Scanlon. And I'm Casey Kant. It's Wednesday, June 9th. Thanks for waking up with us. Everybody talking about the weather. Needed uh, three straight days of 90 degrees. We're checking with Chelsea now. What were the official numbers yesterday, Chelsea? Good morning. 89 at Deep Green, guys. So oh. I know we didn't make it to the official heat wave. A lot of locations did have three or four days in a row of 90 degrees plus, but at TF Green Airport, where our official records are kept, uh, 989 degrees. This morning, to get you out the door, it's still very warm and very humid. You're looking at uh, uh, some little sprinkles outside to start the day. Inland locations in the 70s this morning, coastal locations in the mid to upper 60s. It is another very warm and very muggy day out there. With that muggy feel to the air, we're looking at some patchy fog and spots, quarter mile visibility for block. Island, two mile visibility in Westerly, two and a half mile visibility for Norwood. So for your morning commute, expect some clouds outside, very humid conditions, and some patchy fog. We'll be into the upper 80s again today, but I do have much more comfortable air moving in tomorrow. I'll have much more in just a few minutes. Doreen? Chelsea, thank you. And our top story this morning, Rhode Island's COVID comeback. And as COVID cases declined, Rhode Island begins to shift back to the way it was pre-pandemic. There is one thing, though, that some people don't want to see go, and that is cocktails to go. Yeah, many in the hospitality industry don't want takeout cocktails to end, and they're asking the General Assembly to keep them going after Governor McKee ends the state of emergency. Good morning, Providence reporter Lord McLeese on top of this for us this morning. She joins us live at the State House for a bill continuing uh, or seeing if it's going to continue those drinks to go. What's the latest on it, Laura? Good morning. And the Senate are still in talks about how long exactly this should last, but the Providence Board of Licensees is also taking up this topic, and that'll actually happen today. The hearing will consider open containers for alfresco dining in Federal Hill. The board will discuss if this should continue, for how long, and what exactly will be allowed. Now, for those on Federal Hill, open containers have been a saving grace during this tough time, and many want to see it permanent. Meanwhile, lawmakers in the State House are considering a bill that would extend this for businesses across Rhode Island. The House originally p passed a bill, rather, to, that would keep to-go drinks flowing throughout the end of the year. But now a revised version that passed the Senate and heads back to the House would extend that to March of 2022. Now, the final version of that bill is still in the works, but coming up at 530, I'll tell you what it could look like. For now, reporting live in Providence, I'm Laura Puglisi, ABC 6 News.